you're really smart, like really, really, really bright, and people hate it. Mm, you can dispute it, but being a woman and being smart, most people find it absurd, they find it intimidating. And for some men, this can resonate for you as well. But I'm speaking in regards to the women right now. In order for you to move about in this world, sometimes you gotta play it dumb. Don't show all your cards, and you don't have anything to prove. This is something that is a gift, truly, because a lot of your intellect. You can't chalk it up to anything tangible. It's just naturally within you. And the more and more that you develop your spiritual growth, it's as if you're being uploaded or downloaded, tomatoes to model, with deeper insight. This could be, for some of you, you're tapping into ancestral wisdom that can't be explained. You may also be someone where you naturally have always enjoyed reading, writing, journaling, art. And so the blueprint has already been there for you. You are the blueprint. This is just something that's a part of you. And the beautiful thing about you embracing who you are is that your natural gifts become amplified. They're enhanced when you begin to honor who you are. And so just be aware that when you decide to take your life seriously, you decide to truly be who you are, loving yourself completely, your powers are going to be enhanced. And yes, I believe that your intellect is a superpower. This is why your intuitive abilities have increased. You're able to pick up on things a lot more easier. You're processing things a lot faster. Oftentimes, you're not just 10 steps ahead. You're 11 steps ahead. You could be seeing the number 11 a lot, which is in regard to being an intuitive leader, a teacher. And you could be someone like myself. You don't want to be a leader. It's just in you. Anything that you're doing, people are aspiring to be. So you could be someone that you're an unofficial leader. It's by default. So this position that you're in right now, that you're beginning to really honor who you are, in order to move in this world, you have to also understand that there's going to be so much protection spiritually, physically, in all aspects by you having a level of exclusivity, not being everywhere, not making yourself, <laughs> not making yourself accessible to so many people. That shows true smarts. Because sometimes when you allow yourself to really trust your intuition, this is going to keep you ahead of so many pitfalls or things that could have been devastating. So pay attention. When I speak about intellect, you could be having dreams and insight that's giving you a forewarning. Pay attention to that. There are no coincidences. Oftentimes, you are aligned with divine insight, with secret knowledge or intuition. So, congratulations, you've made it to understanding that you have begun to take on your innate superpowers. They are being activated right now. And a lot of this activation is also happening is because the whole world, the planet, is going through a major upgrade in all aspects. And so with these cellular upgrades that are happening, different parts of you that you may have been playing small, it's like you can't even fit into that mold anymore. Some people
people are realizing that they cannot conform in which the way they may have conformed in the past. So this is an amazing time to be alive. It doesn't matter what it looks like in society. On the news, it's a lot of doom and gloom, very dystopian society. But in reality, this is a sign that greater things are happening. For something new to come in, the old has to be destroyed. So see the destruction as a sign, as a clearing, as a purging that new greatness is happening. So even in your perspective, your perspective may have had to be completely destroyed how you view things, how you view, view life, how you view God, how you viewed yourself, how you view this universe. All these things are shifting and it's not that you completely discard everything per se because it's just like building blocks. You're building on the knowledge that you've already known. But again, this very thing, these gifts that you have, these secret powers, think about like films, think about cartoons, anime. This theme is played out time and time again. You know, they remix it a little, but it's like a similar type of storyline where that meat person or that person that was playing it safe, you know, even in a form of Clark Kent, like, <laughs> come to find out all along, this person had superpowers. And so you are now realizing that you're beginning to truly embrace your superpowers. And it may be rocky at first. I think about somebody that, especially when I mentioned about the films, cartoons, anime, or whatever. When they are triggered into activating their superpowers, oftentimes it's out of the fence. So even the spiritual warfare that you may have experienced, or you know, it may not be that extreme for some of you. It could just be in a form of people invalidating you, people rejecting you. All those things happen, even betrayals, hurts, losses. All those series of events happen in order to propel you into this higher timeline that you're in, into this higher version of yourself, just like in the films. And so when you begin to hold that power that you have, it can be a little wonky at first. You may stumble a bit. It may be, you know, you may be weird about it, but keep trying keep honing your gifts and your abilities, your intellect, and also realize that at times you're not going to have, it'll be beneficial to you, I'll put it this way, it will be most beneficial for you to remain stoic. Don't let everybody know all that you know. <laughs> you know, sometimes you got to play those things, keep those things close to your heart. And um, know that in your solitude, that's your sacred space where you can explore your weirdness, the things that you're interested in to its fullest content. But those that don't have the things that you have, the insight, the intellect that you have, more than likely they're going to see you as a threat. Some may even see the gifts and abilities that you have as a strength, as something beautiful, but we all know how that goes. When people think something is beautiful, sometimes in their ignorance, they try to destroy it. So to maintain the beauty that you have, the intellect, the power, the courage that you have, play it down. You don't have to answer every question. Some things are just, you don't even have to say a word. No can be a complete sentence. Or... You know, just suggest that they pursue that information for themselves. You know, say it in the best of your ability, but I'm definitely letting you know, um, especially women at this time, your best move is going to be like a chess move, and that is to be very strategic and to say less.